Morning guys and welcome back to the channel. I feel like unboxing a watch today and um, yeah, I've had this one for a little while. It is by Proxima and it's a beautiful homage watch actually. Um, one of the best looking watches I've ever seen on AliExpress. It is also the biggest selling Proxima watch on the official store on AliExpress. So I suspect in the upcoming sale, which starts on the 20th of March, I believe, um, the upcoming AliExpress sale, I suspect this one could be a popular one if it is well discounted. Fingers crossed it is. It's currently £213, um, but it is a cracking looking watch. I haven't seen it in the flesh, but I've seen it um, in pictures and it looks incredible. Um, and if you are interested in picking up this watch in the upcoming sale, um, I'll put an affiliate link in the video description. Um, so thank you so much for using it. And if you pop the watch in your basket now and check out during the sale, this channel still gets the commission and you guys will benefit from the discounted price. There is the warranty card signed, a couple of tools, a manual. Um, yeah, that'll do. Right, and there it is. Um, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It is, of course, a homage watch. And if you're interested in knowing um, which brand or which watch it's paying homage to, head down to the comments section. I'm sure someone will write it in there. I'm not going to tell you. And if you want to know why, head down to my video description. Yeah, that is a good looking watch. Proxima make beautifully made watches. So I'm looking forward to getting this one unwrapped and um, looking at it under macro. And of course, this thing's going to be going inside of Herman before the end of this video. Right, I've removed the plastic, resized it, put some power into the PT5000 and popped it on the time grapher. And this one's running pretty nicely. Um, it's sort of hovering around minus six minus seven seconds a day, um, decent amplitude, um, decent beat error. So the movement is nice and strong. It is the PT5000 beating at 28,800 beats per hour. It hacks and hand winds. And it is, of course, a clone of the ETA 2824. Now, I think this could well be, oh, well, my favorite Proxima watch so far. It is beautifully made, as you would expect, because Proxima do make very nicely made watches. They are one of the brands pushing San Martin. Um, so, yeah, they're getting close to San Martin in terms of steel finishing, fit and finish specifications as well. Incredibly strong specifications, of course. Um, you know, you're going to pay for it. It is um, amongst the slightly more expensive watches on AliExpress. But still, I think this watch represents incredible value for money. And look at it. It is gorgeous. It really is gorgeous. Let's just quickly run through some of the basic specifications. Um, case, bezel, case back, crown, bracelet and clasp, all 316 out stainless steel, screw down case back, screw down crown, uh, 200 meters of water resistance, ceramic bezel insert, sapphire crystal, Solid end links, solid links, um, double-ended quick-release spring bars, which is a nice touch. You've got screw pins. You've also got a couple of half links in here and four micro adjusts on this very nicely finished clasp. And look at that, Proxima and Arunian, um on the inside of the clasp, which is a nice touch. Um, milled inner elements, pressed outer shell, but a beautifully finished outer shell. It looks to be pretty much the same clasp that San Martin are using. It is... Probably one of the best clasps, if not the best clasp I've seen come out um, of AliExpress. Um, yeah, it's incredible. Brushing and polishing also seems very nice. And the transitions between the two um, look good, not just to the naked eye, but under macro as well. And um, yeah, love the side profile of this case. Um, double domed sapphire crystal with a fairly strong blue AR coating. Look at that. Now the dial, very nice, simple white dial with applied indices and beautifully finished and cut hands with a mix of brushed and polished finishing. Um, yeah, capped center um, to the hands as well, or capped seconds hand look. Um, oh, wow, it looks fantastic. Um, even zoomed in like this, look at it. Really, really nice. But what about the loom, I hear you ask? Well, that initial burst is, yeah, it's quite impressive, isn't it? Blue BGW9. Let's let that run down for five minutes or so and see how much it degrades. Right, I think that's been around five minutes and there's been some degradation, as you would expect. Um, unfortunately, it looks like the loom on the hands is degrading a little bit quicker than the loom um, infilled into the applied indices. Um, but still, it's, um, you know, fairly strong. So that's pretty decent. 
bezel action. How have I not done the bezel action yet? Um, yeah, let's have a little listen. Are you ready? Hmm. It's okay. Resistance is fairly light. The clicks aren't that crisp, are they? But, um, yeah, it's fairly satisfying. The grip is actually pretty good. Um, the coin edge on the bezel is, um, yeah, quite grippy. Um, although it's not particularly thick bezel. Um, yeah, I'm not struggling to turn it. Yeah, it's it's okay. And what about the alignment? Here we go. Uh, oh, a smidge of back play, but not much at all. And the alignment from the bezel to the dial seems pretty good and the applied indices all seem to be um, lined up nicely as well so yeah i'm happy with that right here it is then on my roughly average seven and a quarter inch ish wrist i can't get over how good looking this thing is um they've done an incredible job because believe it or not it is possible to actually mess up a homage watch get the proportions all wrong and just make them look a bit off and a bit weird um, but they've done a really nice job of this one um, in terms of its proportions it looks bang on i think it's the perfect size for me this one um yeah beautifully finished beautifully made um it is just gorgeous isn't it now herman's ended up performing both tests the safer test and then the well more risky test because as is quite often the case with dive watches it's quite difficult to determine whether or not they have failed or passed the first test because what you're looking at is the number of bubbles that are released. When you release the pressure and there's lots of places for little pockets of air on dive watches, so you do tend to get quite a few bubbles. And with this being a 200 meter dive watch, I thought, well, why not? Let's do the second test as well. So I left the watch in the water, increased the pressure, um, forcing water into the case if there is a weakness. I left it in there for quite a while, actually. Of course, Herman can only test up to the equivalent of 60 meters of pressure, but that's still a decent amount and it will give us some indication as to whether or not you can swim with this watch. I then take the watch out, put it on a radiator for a good while all the moisture inside the watch evaporates and then yeah you put a block of ice in this instance it's a unicorn seemed quite appropriate you put it on the crystal and then yeah you should get some condensation and um, if you get a lot of condensation again it's an indication that some um, additional water has seeped into the watch and on this particular occasion um, I wasn't seeing any condensation whatsoever so um, yeah a successful test now, I've said it many times before, no watch is perfect. This watch isn't perfect, but I tell you, it's bloody close to being perfect, this one. Um, I love the size. I love the look. Um, I love the build quality. The price as well, even outside of the sale, I think it's reasonably well priced. Um, during the sale, I suspect it will be fantastic value for money. And the only weaknesses I can see on this particular watch is, well, the double-ended quick-release spring bars um, aren't that easy to operate. Um, the little handles don't poke out too far far from beyond the end links so they're not the easiest ones to use but still i mean it wasn't impossible the bezel action isn't the best it's not a bad bezel action it's just not quite as crisp and smooth feeling as i like the loom on the hands appears to be a little bit weaker than the loom filled into the applied indices i know i'm being a little bit picky but still um, yeah, it would be nice if the strength of the loom on the hands matched the loom on the dial. And the only other one I can think of is, well, the crown and the clasp are sterile. And so just gives the watch a slightly sterile look, doesn't it? Um, but there's no unicorn logo on the dial. I like the Proxima and Arunian text on the clasp. I do like the addition of quick release spring bars. And um, yeah, I mean, they've almost nailed it, haven't they? Really, really good looking watch. Um, yeah, probably, if not, almost certainly their best 